believe it's taking an inch leads to taking a yard. Damn, dude, it's only been like five seconds in and Jerry's already making the fucking jokes at people. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, BJ, what's going on? What's going on, Jerry? Uh, I'm here to tell you that, uh, thing, I need to tell my girlfriend that, uh, things went a little too far and I ended up cheating on her. Things went a little too far and you ended up cheating on her. Oh, fuck, buddy. You, you're about to tell her this on national TV where she can show out? You really better get ready for a fucking fork stabbed in your arm, my man. Oh. oh. How'd this happen? What happened? Well, it all started out. A buddy of mine was getting married and he called me, asked me to be his groomsman. I was like, yeah, of course. You know, I ain't never been in a wedding. I always wanted to. Yeah. Well, and, uh, well, being the good guy that I am, 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 the good guy, right, right, right. I think all notability for you being a good guy already got thrown out the window in the first five seconds, bud, literally. I asked my girlfriend, Mindy, to be my date. Well, good, okay. And uh, she came with me, we was having a good time. After the groom yeah. said I do, yeah. they wanted to play a couple games. Yeah. And of course, you know, the bride's gonna throw the bouquet. Yeah. And the groom is gonna throw the garter. Yeah. Well, whenever it was the bride's turn to throw the bouquet, you know, I told my girlfriend, I was like, go up there, go catch. And she was like, nah, I didn't want to. And I was like, whatever, you just ruin yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, so a redhead named Haley ended up catching the bouquet. And uh, shortly after that, it was the guy's turn. Yeah. You know, they called him up there. You I had to catch the garter. Yeah. And yeah. as soon as I got up there, you know, I stood up. There was two short guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two short guys? What's that got to do with anything? Two short guys can't catch a damn bouquet? Better, you're walking on thin lines here, buddy, with us short community and with the community of your girlfriend and her friends. I was like, man, I got this. You know, I'm real competitive. Oh, yeah. I've always got it. You know, it's going to land right oh. in my hand. And about that time, he threw it, and it, boom, it landed right in my hand. And there I knew is. I caught it. He better keep the same competitive energy whenever his fucking girlfriend comes out on stage here in a couple minutes and he has to tell her how he cheated on her with his friends at a fucking wedding. Yeah, keep that same energy, buddy. Let's see if you can catch this one like you caught that fucking guard. And then, you know, shortly after that, we went back to partying, drinking, having a good time, dancing. And then uh, the DJ come over to like, we're going to play one more game for tonight. And we was like, oh, I wonder what it is. And then he said, I need the gentleman that caught the garter, and I need the young lady that caught the bouquet to come to center of the stage. Not exactly sure on what the game is, but I have a feeling I'm starting to see where this whole cheating thing happened. So I'm going to have to assume that this girl that goes on stage with him, some weird game happens, and then and somehow that sheds light on the fact that they end up sleeping with each other. <laughs> I don't I don't really know how how or where this is going exactly, but uh, yeah, this is this dude's digging himself a fucking hole. He's digging a real deep fucking hole, and he's not about to get out of it. So you know, I walked up there, and Haley walked up there, and uh, they had a chair sitting right in the middle, and uh, she sat down. And he's like, all right, here's the game. For every inch you slide the garter above her knee, it's 10 years of good luck. Oh, oh for the bride and groom. Exactly. There you go. So you know. And you said, no, I can't play that. <laughs> nah, I kind of yeah, did. Yeah, 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 kind of <laughs> Has anyone that's been to a fucking wedding ever heard of this fucking game? Because in my opinion, if I was this guy, I would think that this was a setup from the fucking start. Every inch it goes up closer to her womanhood region then it gives them 10 years of good luck and then this dude of course no i kind of participated so yeah this motherfucker was like well i'm about to give you motherfuckers about 100 years of good luck fucking idiot dude oh my god and they was like <laughs> all the way up all the way up all the way up and i was like i was like okay what could you do so you're a good guy it. what can you do yeah so i redid it and i slid it all the way up and said <laughs> And this, children, is why they say peer pressure is bad. Because, see, they got peer pressured. The stage, the, or the fucking audience here, is agreeing with it, too. They're all cheering him on. But let's see if his girlfriend gets in the same kind of, ooh, you should have done it because it was a party. And, you know, it, it's, it's all for fun and games. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's see how this goes. Just imagine all the good luck they're going to have now. End up seven inches above her knee, so Whoa. they got 70 years of good luck. Well, that's very nice of you. And now, then, what happened? After that, I looked at my girl. She gave me the death stare. Oh, she, she's, like, she's not happy. She was fucking there? She was there watching it all? Oh, shit. 
well, what the fuck did she expect? They should have left right then and there at that moment. She's like, no, let's just keep hanging out. You know, nothing weird's gonna happen after this. 70 years of good fucking luck. Jesus Christ. And, uh, well, you know, I wasn't gonna ruin the party. Just no. cause my girlfriend left. Yeah. So I'm gonna stay, have a good time. And it was at that moment that if he wasn't mentally retarded, he would have realized what was going to happen and what was going to unfold and the new challenges he was going to have to endeavor, making it all the way to the Jerry Springer show. If she leaves, you should probably leave too. Let me tell you, buddy, I've been married for two years and it's always a two-way street. There's been times where she hasn't wanted to comply with me and I haven't wanted to comply with her, but in the end, we both end up complying with each other because we realize that's the only way it's gonna fucking work. So just cut all the hard shit out in the beginning and just don't be a fucking jackass, quite honestly. Don't be a fucking douche. What do you want to tell Haley? Because she's coming out here now. <laughs> she's fucking coming. Of course, the side hoe is here. They're always here. So here comes the side hoe. The side hoe is going to come out. And then you know who's coming out after her. Hopefully, we'll see some fists fucking flying, a little cat fight. Rear. <laughs> Look, I just want to say, you know, thanks for the good time. I had a lot of fun, but I mean, you was just a one night stand, you know, and I feel bad. I feel bad. But do you, do you really feel bad? Do you think you did anything wrong? I feel bad and you know, I got to tell Look at that fucking smirk he's trying so hard to hold back as he says this to her. This dude don't fucking feel bad. He's a piece of shit. It's probably happened before and it's probably going to happen again just with someone else. Mindy. What do you mean? We have a great chemistry. I really like you and you know your is really good. And you also told me I put it down better than she does, so. Put it down better? That's funny. Let me tell you something, sweetheart. Anybody that fucking cheats on someone with someone else, they always tell that person they put it down better. Anybody who even just breaks up with someone and gets into a new relationship tells that person that they did it better. I mean, I've had plenty of females in my life tell me my dick was the biggest they've ever seen. Do you really believe that's true? I'm five foot fucking six. My dick ain't the biggest they've ever fucking seen. But they sure will tell you that at the moment. Regardless, my dick might not be the biggest in the world, but it moves like a fucking sewing machine. So with that, I digress. Here's Mindy. Here she comes. So before we do this, let's do this. So do you think she's going to, A, come out and be apologetic and say it's her fault for him doing what he did for her leaving? B, Apologize to the friend that she had to put up with him and sleep with him and let her have him or C Come out guns blaze and fucking swing and trying to fucking kill the bitch. What, what do you think into your submissions now? three two one <laughs> Just to be sure I hope all of you guys see cuz that had to have been fucking obvious <laughs> Did anyone notice that chick throw her punch in like slow motion like check this out Whoa, whoa, slow the swings down, girl. You're gonna cause some real collateral damage and ruin some families. And that ended just as quickly as it started. Kind of depressing, actually. I was hoping they'd get a little more swings in there, but as you're about to see, the other girl gets back up and she's like, fuck, I cheated on her, man, blah, 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 and I'm getting my ass whooped by her on national TV. She's like, man, I really need to figure my life out. What do you want to what do you want to say? Back off my man. I think at this point he's both of y'all's man, but you know, that's just my personal opinion. Off my man. Bitch, you left him. Clearly, will you not be pissed if someone else is on your damn man? I don't give a Clearly cuz you're a no. Okay, he liked it. He's desperate. Oh, okay. Desperate. That's why he's with you. You know, I feel for this girl a lot, especially from being in the position where you feel hopeless about the situation. But like, man, she, she leaves the wedding, you know, she's supposed to be able to trust this guy. and They've been together for a long time. They're around a whole bunch of his friends who you wouldn't think would allow him to do anything like that anyways, some friends. But man, that really, that really sucks. If I was this girl, I'd be pretty angry at the world. No, it's not why he's with me. Obviously. Obviously not. He's still here. Hmm. Well, what do you want to say to him? Why would you do that? After all I put into us, our future, me and you looking for an apartment, me and you letting you meet my family and my son, and he called you dad dad. And dating 101, people. Okay, so if you have children and you're with someone, make sure you can trust that person and you know that they actually are genuinely there to be with you before you introduce them to your children. 
because then at that point you're just putting your own kids at risk too of getting hurt and that's pretty selfish of you in my opinion but you know oh, jesus christ this is such a fucking jumbled mess right here these people i'm going to be very surprised if they end up staying together and make it work and you left me mindy i didn't know what else to what? do I love this dude playing the victim card. You left, babe. I didn't know what to do. You left, so, you know, I had two Michelob Ultras inside of me, the seltzer ones, and, you know, I just I just lost sight of everything important and what was going on. I started thinking with my penis. All you had to say was, it was a mistake. I thought with my dick, and it would have been it would have been a lot better. You didn't have to make up all these other excuses or say it's because she left you at the fucking wedding, dude. Like, come on. Do you not be mad? That is so disrespectful on so many levels. And hurtful basic human being no no baby i i wouldn't be mad what do you mean if you if you did that i, I would understand I, I would work with you i'd be very understanding and then whenever you find out she's fucking jody down the street it's a big fucking deal then fucking liar i mean what'd you want me to do i wasn't going to ruin the wedding i mean that what a fucking chocolate eye you gotta be fucking good. baby if i wouldn't have fucked her the wedding would have been ruined i'm not trying to ruin everybody else's good time we had to make the sacrifice you and me both i didn't want to do it it was what was right yeah okay you have not chased me it's not hard i mean hey, you could have made me feel left. better you left in my own truck i didn't even know you should have known i was mad come over there and talk to me about it you wouldn't talk to me you wouldn't show me no attention you wouldn't even dance with me you wouldn't even go up and catch the guard or play the game it was a game that's something you're just gonna have to get over i'm sorry if that was me you would have been mad too you're saying you don't want to have a relationship no, with her don't, okay i mean you would like one but he's saying no and then now that you know that he's not interested in her anymore do you still want to be with him or try to work this out? So this is going to separate her from the rest of the women. Is she going to stay or is she going to leave? Most girls and some men would especially, especially after a long time being with someone would, uh, you know, try to say we can work it out. We can make it work. But will it work? Will it really? Because I don't think so. You it can't be working it. out. Aside from the horrible grammar saying it can't be working out, you know, I'm glad that she did actually make the right choice and decided to leave this pluribuscent douchebag because he's a dick. It can't be. Once a cheater, always a cheater. We'll be back. Typically speaking, you know, you don't want to try to fuck people at weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, birthday parties, uh, you know, anything along those general lines. If you have a significant other especially, you probably should just, you know, leave that alone. Probably create a lot less stress for you and the other person. Uh, but moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, if you go to a wedding and there's someone there that you think is attractive and your girlfriend leaves and you're there by yourself or your boyfriend leaves and you're there by yourself, either way, they both can do it, women and men, you know, you probably shouldn't be cheating on your significant other there. I mean, I'm surprised none of the friends or anyone that was there came out and told her about it, to be honest, but like I said, goes to show how good of friends they really were. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you next time. This has been Core, and have a good day. Bye.